Hi, now in this video of CSS, we will talk about the selectors. Selectors are basically something which will help us out in selecting the particular element or the particular portion of your web page. So here we have four kinds of basic selectors. These are name selector, class selector, ID selector and universal selector. The name selector is something where you will pass the name of the particular tag from which you want to apply the the styles for example if i want to make some styles for the heading h1 or h2 i will use h2 as the name of the tag and inside these i will put all these styles which i want to put for that particular uh, tag now second is the class selector where i will put dot as a class selector and that particular class of css will contain some list of styles when on a document I want to apply that particular set of styles to a particular element, I will use the class attribute by passing the class name. So whatever styles I have passed in that particular uh, class selector, that will all be applied on that particular segment. The next is ID selector. So ID selector is something where you will put these styles which is particularly for a single element as it is ID selector and we cannot have the multiple ID with the same value in the same web page. So if for a particular DIV or something you want to put a style you can use the ID selector and universal selector is something where you will put the, the style for the complete DOM. So let's get started with the practical implementation and you can see how these different selectors can be implemented. So for starting the implementation of selectors, I will use the embedded style sheet just to make sure that you will see the styles and the tags on the same page. So it will be easier for you to understand. So now what I'll do, I'll start working with the name selector as we have seen so far in the video that here I can pass any particular name of the element like h1, h2, p, paragraph, bold, b, alright. So such things can be decorated by using the name selector and we will use the name selector in the situation when you want that complete document should get the same styles for all the similar tags. For example, here in h1 if I will say color to blue then all the h1 of this particular tag will be converted to the blue font all right similarly if i'll say h2 to color green and text decoration to underline so it will be reflected to all the h2 tags all right like if i will copy and paste it again so you will see all the h2 tags whether i have written anything here or not all will be decorated with the same styles similarly you can pass the same styles to the multiple elements at the same time for example i have a couple of tags like for bold tag and for the italics tag I want them to be decorated with the underline. So what I'll do, I'll just put the text decoration underline here and you can see here B comma I that means for the bold as well as for the italics I will decorate the text with the underline. So let's see how it will be looking like. So here I'll put a bold tag like this is bold, I'll close the bold tag, I'll break the line and again I'll put another I that is italics, this is italics, alright. So here you can see both are coming with the underlines whether it's bold or italics. Now you can also use the nesting here by the time you want to work with any nested things like for example for paragraph inside a paragraph I will put a bold tag and for bold I want to do something like what I want to do I want to say background color to lime green 
all right so what it will mean that if i will put any bold tag that will not be decorated with this lime green as here already i have a bold let me refresh it but here you can see there is no background this background color lime green is only applicable for bo those bold tags who will be there inside a paragraph so let's see let's start a paragraph this is a sample paragraph with a highlighted bold text all right so now here what i'll do i will start the bold tag here i will finish it here all right so inside this paragraph i can see there is a bold tag let me close the p tag also all right so let's come here and refresh and here you can see this is a sample paragraph with a highlighted bold text and here you can see it is bold it is underlined as well because here i have designed the underlined design for the bold text all right if you don't want to use underline here so again you can come for inline style and you can use the text decoration to none all right so here you can see for this there is no more underline let me zoom it out to make it clear all right so this is about the name selector so you can use these names the way you want now the another way to use the thing inside a css is the class selector the reason why there is a class selector concept because there may be a situation where you want to put the similar styles for the different tags for example let me first uh, remove this one so what i'll do for the class selector first of all i will use dot that is a class all right and here i'll set different style classes let's say the first style here i will use the color green and font times new roman similarly let's put another style style 2 another class all right and here i will use again the, the same attributes with a different value like it's red and font family to monotype corsiva all right so now here i have not specified like for which particular tag i want to put these styles so I, if i am saving it you can see all the styles are gone away all right so let's remove the text as well i'll put some relevant text here so what my requirement is like here i am putting an h2 that is a heading like heading 1 and for this particular heading i want to put a paragraph so this is a paragraph for heading 1 similarly i want to repeat the same thing for one more tag that is h2 again it's heading 2 this is the paragraph for heading 2 all right so now this is the updated test now what i want to do is i want that this heading and its relevant paragraph should come in a similar manner and this particular couple like this heading and a paragraph should come in a similar manner but with the different styles which i have already defined here so what can i do is i will use the attribute class and here i will pass the name of the class like style 1 all right so let's close it now all right and i'll do the same thing see i use the same style for this paragraph as well similarly in this particular situation i will again use a class attribute with a different value that is style 2 and i will use the same class that is style 2 for this paragraph so let's come here and refresh and you can see that both of these class like h1 and h2 here means heading 1 and heading 2 are being decorated with the different classes of style all right 
Now, what I'll do is, is I'll enclose them all inside a div. All right. I'll put it all inside a div. Let's close this. For now, it will not be reflected. But now, let's add one more selector here. That is the ID selector. And for ID selector, I will use hash. All right. So like my div is the ID selector. ID is actually an attribute in order to make a unique element in your HTML document. So what I do here for making a div, I will use some of the attributes like height. Let's put height as uh, 300 pixel, width as 500 pixel. All right. And we'll put a background color here with the background color yellow. All right. Now, here's how I have decorated this my div. But if I want to apply it here, what I'll do is I'll say ID is equal to my div. So this ID selector will be applied only to that particular element in the document, which is being decorated with the same ID. As here you can see, it's my div. It's just a unique feature to give it. But for this particular element, I have designed this whole styles. So when I will refresh here, you can see it's being enclosed inside a box with such things. If you want to use some padding things as well, you can do that. Let's say 20 pixel is the padding. So now this is how you can start. So these are the different selectors that we worked on. That is the name selector, ID selector and class selector. So that is all for this video.